In this example, we need to find the Laplace transform of the following function t squared minus e to the power negative 9t plus 5. Let's write this down. So Laplace transform t squared minus e to the power negative 9t plus 5. And that's what we're looking for. So first, we need to remind ourselves that the Laplace transform is the linear operator. What that means is that in short, Laplace transform of a sum is same as the sum of Laplace transforms, if that made sense. So what I'm saying here is that if we have Laplace transform of a sum, well, or difference um, of terms, and that's how our function looks like, it's going to be the same as finding Laplace transform of each term and then adding or subtracting the results. So that means that if we take Laplace transform of t squared, subtract the Laplace transform of e to the power negative 9t and add the Laplace transform of a constant function 5, then the result will be the same. So that's all what's called linear operator. Differentiation and integration are also linear operators. Next, to find Laplace transform of each, we're going to use a table of Laplace transforms. So the first one is Laplace transform of t squared. Now, I have the table here, and I just need to find a function that matches this form. So how do I describe it in general? Well, it's t raised to some kind of power, right? And now as I look at the Laplace transform table, in my table it's number 3, it says t to the power n, where n is a positive integer, well, it is positive integer, right, 2. And then I can write a way to find the Laplace transform of this function, and it has this form, so I have to take n factorial and divide by s to the power n plus 2. So n is 2 in my case, n equals 2. So that means that Laplace transform will be 2 factorial and then over s to the power 2 plus 1. I'll just write it down like that for now. Next, I need to subtract, if I remember correctly, yes, I have to subtract Laplace transform of this function. It's from far away, it looks like e to the power some kind of coefficient t. Okay, so if I look through the functions given here and go all the way down to number 11 in my table, then I see how it resembles the same form. It's e to the power a t. So in my case, a is number negative 9. So a is the coefficient of t and that's negative 9. Well, according to the table, the Laplace transform of this kind of function will be 1 over s minus a. Let me write that down. Minus, well, minus because from here I am subtracting, right? So minus, and then 1 over s, and then a again is negative 9, so it's minus, and then a is negative 9, so like that, minus negative 9. And then finally, the last one, plus, it's Laplace transform of just the constant 5. And as I can see in the table, I don't have constant function described in general. I'm trying not, not to confuse it with the second one. This is t, this is a variable, right? I don't have a variable here, it's the constant. I only have Laplace transform of 1. But since Laplace transform is a linear operator, this is what I can do. I can think about 5 as 5 times 1. And because Laplace transform is a linear operator, it has another property, which is that the constants can be put in the front of the Laplace transform. Remember, we can always do that when we integrate or differentiate. We can always put constants in front of the um, integral, right? Or derivative. So that becomes Laplace transform, 5 times Laplace transform of 1. Like that. And that I know equals 1 over s. So the result here is going to be 5 times and then 1 over s. So plus plus 5 times 1 over s. And now as I simplify all that, 2 factorial is, okay, I don't need this anymore, 2 factorial is 2 times 1, so that's just 2, s to the power 3 in the denominator. Here I have minus 1 over s plus 9. 
and then plus 5 over s. Okay, and that's going to be the answer. So we perform Laplace transform of a given function f of t, and we obtained another function in, in terms of s. So your final answer should never have t involved. Um, it should be in terms of s.